during this season, uh, this what I consider a holy season, uh, where we reflect and decide on our financial support for St. Paul's, of using our resources, our money, uh, to make a difference here in our community. Um, we invited some folks from the parish to share some reflections, and this morning, um, Carrie Hess will be with us. And remember, our theme is Forward Together in Faith. And I want to thank Carrie for being with us today and sharing her, her thoughts and reflections. Good morning. I uh, was at the 7.30 service earlier today, and I have to say it's a beautiful service. It's very quiet and peaceful, uh, so I was glad to be there, but I am very glad to be back here at the 9 o'clock with my people. I feel like there's a joyful noise going on and gives me life. So my story, my St. Paul's story, is really about family. I've been coming to St. Paul since... Georgia, my littlest, was only months old, and she's six now. Both of my kids were baptized here, and my parents attend church with us every week, which I tell you is as much a blessing now as it was in the days of crying infants. So we are in many ways a generational St. Paul's family, and we all get a little something different out of our relationship here with the church. For my parents, They're reconnecting to a tradition that they were raised in, one that they raised me in, a tradition of faith and community that is so much a part of who they are. They're able to come here each week and learn and pray and practice. And there's a real steadfastness there that I see in many of our parishioners and one that I personally really admire. For my children, they're at the beginning of that journey. I remember feeling like church was so long and so boring when I was little. (laughs) It was such a chore that it is literally amazing to me that my kids are excited to come to church every Sunday. They love their friends. They love Sunday school. They love Mother Alice. They love Children's Chapel with Miss Sherry. And not just because she gives them treats every day, although I'm sure that's part of it. They're learning the lessons of our faith They're learning what it means to be a faith community, and I hope that the ties that they're building now will make them a part of St. Paul's for many more years to come. It's been different for me as a parent, as a grown adult who had gotten more than a little lax in their practice. I wanted to come back to the church, and I wanted to be involved. I wanted my kids to be involved, but to be honest, I was a little nervous about it. I didn't know where I fit and I didn't have a strong connection to the church's history. I didn't feel called to a particular ministry. And that can be really intimidating when you're holding yourself up against this really steadfast and strong tradition. So I had to take kind of a leap to get started. I actually ended up in that children's ministry mainly because I thought, well, at least this committee won't meet during my kids' bath time. Um, <laughs> But uh, I've been working with them for about four years now, and I've gotten so, so much out of this work, so much more than I thought I ever would. I've learned so much about our church and our faith, and often that's alongside the kindergartners that I teach in Sunday school. I've gained a wonderful group of friends who I love and trust, and I've been able to show my children what a strong and connected community can do. I've seen our values put into action. And I feel like I'm finally becoming a part of that tradition that I was raised to admire so much. You may see yourself in my story, or you may not. Maybe you see yourself serving a tried and true connection like my parents. Or maybe you're at the beginning of your journey like my kids. Maybe you're coming back home like I am. But whether you see yourself in my story or not, I want you to know that you are there. You are a part of my story. Your grace and your gifts and your commitment to this community are as much a part of mine and my family's stories as the pews that we sit in. We're all following our own unique paths. We all start in different places and we're all going in different ways, but we're all going to the same place. 
and we're all traveling down our path to meet God. And we do it all together. So let me end with this. Thank you. Thank you for your gifts. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your commitment and for being a part of this St. Paul's family. Thank you for everything you've given. And thank you for being a part of my family story. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you for being part of the story. And uh, as we said, sharing your story hopefully surfaces some of our stories in our lives and, and how we walk this path together. Uh, so as we uh, move forward together in faith over these next weeks, invite you to reflect on those stories and what St. Paul's has been in your life, in your family, and, um, and see how you can uh, step forward uh, to offer financial support for next year, for 2024, as we move forward.